What is going on guys, this is SJ Sports, welcome back to Youth Camera Region Series 2, episode number 14 with SSV Frankfurt. We haven't uploaded this for quite some quite a while now, I think it's nearly a week ago since we last uploaded this. So you can see our first game is at home against St. Pauli. Starting 11 then against St. Pauli is Sudic in goal, Kaleem, Evans, Bullet, Khalid, Sekulin, Ramstein, Bacalaz in Han, Niani and Sonogo up front. Into Sonogo, then oh, his touch was poor, it's a good challenge by the centre half, but Ramstein's in there really well, and Ramstein's done fantastically well to find Sonogo inside the area. Oh, it's a weak shot, it's a decent save. It comes out to in Han, and he goes over the bar. It was a bit of a scrappy attack that from our standards he managed to get a shot away and in hand couldn't quite direct his effort on target still Niane then looks to dink it over oh and it's a mistake at the back again and they were in there oh, oh another fucking hell another goal mouth scramble two attacks for us in this game the first two attacks of the game and they're both in with a little bit of a goal mouth scramble a man out wide to his right side here he is in Nurig back to back heeled it back to Thai and Thai inside the area with that great name. And that could be a penalty in it is. Oh, that's frustrating. And it's a penalty to St. Pauli. And it was, a, it was a penalty. I think it was Evans that gave the penalty away. Let's take another look at the replay. Let's see. Yeah, just catches his standing legs. He's about to go for an effort on goal. It's a clumsy challenge. So it's the hook against Sudic then. The penalty's taken and it's sent Sudic the wrong way. And it's 1-0 to St. Pauli. It's Niani. Niani turns well, he's running at the heart of the St. Pauli defenders, he's got manager in there, surely that's a foul referee, and Niani's gone down injured, and that is the last thing we want, it was a definite free kick in my eyes, so Niani is injured, then De Jong comes on as his replacement, Sekulin, good ball, here is Inhan, Inhan then he's going to have a dig from distance, and it's easy for Tushana, the goalkeeper of St. Pauli, Cali with the throw into De Jong. De Jong lays it off to Sonogo. Sonogo's in there. He's laid it off to Inhan. Inhan penalty, surely. Yes, we've got it. Finally, they've been such a dirty team in defence. Inhan was pulled down. And the referee awards us a penalty. And the guy, uh, Bubla, uh, what a name. Uh, a yellow card. So we've got a great opportunity to get back level in this game. Bacalaz then is going to be the taker for us. It's in the green area. Bacalaz steps up and puts us back on level terms. And it's 1-1 and it's nothing more than what we deserve. We have been fantastic in this game. St. Pauli have defended really well. Bacalaz makes no mistake from the spot to put us right back on level terms. It's 1-1 now. Einstein inside to Sekulin. Sekulin in into De Jong. Go on, De Jong, son. Here he goes, De Jong. Still De Jong going. Still De Jong going. We'll look to cross it into the area. And the keeper's comfortable with that. It was a dangerous ball in. Well done over to him. Takes it off the feet of the defender. He's got his in hand in the middle. In hand there. Well, he takes. Oh, it's a good save by the keeper. If that had gone in, we may have won the game. Win that. Oh, we've not won it. Evans has gambled on that. And he's left us a gap. Oh, well done by Khalid. Got back well. There's a chance here. It's laid off. And the shot goes wide by Bahoy. And it goes down as a chance for St. Pauli. There it goes, the full-time whistle. The points are shared here at the Frankfurt Stadium. I've forgotten what it's called, but it's finished 1-1. It's been a different... It's been a... I think we could, should have... We did enough to win the game, to be fair. Uh, however, it's finished Frankfurt 1, St. Pauli 1. So Niani has suffered a bruised shoulder and will be out for about nine days. Next game of the episode is 1860 Munich against SSV Frankfurt. One change to the side. Nilsson comes in. Uh, Sudic goes to the bench. Oh, Niani with the back heel in towards Inhan. Inhan then looking to go around the outside. Inhan then will have a dig, will he? He will! And it just goes wide. It was a fantastic effort from Inhan. He wasn't the man that time, but he did really well then. Here's An Lung. Lays out wide to Steinhofer. Steinhofer then in to uh, Rodri. Rodri looks to cut inside. Rodri will play on a play as a man arriving. No one's gone with the runners. It's Everton and Nilsson with a save. It's near post. A great save by Nilsson. Well in. Here is Sonogo then. And another good challenge, man. The centre half and Sonogo's down injured. They've done that slide tackles all game and they've got them spot on. It's only a matter of time before they get one wrong. Sonogo is back up on his feet. Well in by Sekulin and we're looking to break in hand. Go on, another good tackle. We can't get away from him. Oh, it's a great ball into Vildschut. Vildschut then to the byline. We'll cross it in and Starks there and it's clear. And again, it's good defended by 1860 Munich. Free kick then. Stinked in. A free header. Oh, Nilsson, mate. Unbelievable. 
What an outstanding save by Nilsson. Take a look at it from this angle. I thought he was beaten. He got a good right hand to it to keep us in the game. Was laid out wide. Somebody go to him. Somebody you go to him. Here's Everton. We'll cross it. And the header. And Nilsson again with a great save. He's keeping us in this. He's having an outstanding game. He's probably earned himself a place in starting 11 for the next game. With these two good saves he's done in a row now. We're finding it hard to beat Nilsson in goals at 1860 Munich. Ramstein then. Go on, son. Ramstein on as a sub. Just powering through the defenders. Where's this come from? Ramstein. Ramstein then. We'll look to dink it in towards over 2 0. The substitute. He's headed away. But what a run from Ramstein. Did really well. And I didn't, I, I didn't expect him to do a run like that. That was fucking brilliant. Come on, Niane. We need you in a good position now. Got Niane then. Looks for the run of Overtoom down the line. Overtoom, has he got the power? Has he got the pace? He has. He's done really well to get past the defender. Overtoom's into the area. Overtoom then to score. Oh, it's surely a penalty is that. Oh, my God. He didn't get no contact on the ball. If Overtoom would have gone down there, he would have won a penalty. Well done from the big powerhouse up front. Evans plays a nice ball into Ramstein. who has got a lot of space here. He's seen the run of Overtoom. Overtoom, he's on side. Go on over to him then, son. Cuts back inside really well. Over to him to hit it. Oh, he goes wide. Wanted to get a shot away. We haven't had many chances in this game. And that was a good chance for over to him and FSV Frankfurt. We're growing in confidence in this game. As the game gets older, we are creating more of Vilshot then. Seeing the run of Niane into the area. Niane will cross to over to him. And that's 1 0. And it's over to him. Let's go the goal. Brilliant header. Great team goal, that to be fair. And Overtoom has caused nothing but problems since we brought him on as a substitute. He does this game in, game out. He is like our super sub. He comes on and he causes opposition defences all sorts of problems. It was on a play from him. It was a good ball by Niane. And it's 1-0 to FSV Frankfurt. To Ramstein, lovely back heel. Niane into Overtoom. Him two linked up really well. Overtoom then will hit it. Oh, it's a great strike. And it's a good save. Overtoom was produced a good save from the keeper from an impossible strike. He somehow dug his shot out and he forced the goalkeeper into making a save. There goes the full-time whistle. We pick up a massive three points in our promotion push. It was thanks to Nilsson that we got the victory. Niane's ball in two over two to head us into a 1-0 lead. It's finished. FCSV Frankfurt 1, 1860 Munich 0. Move a scouting update then from Turkey. Brings us back a 74, a 69, a 90. We're going to sign this guy up. And a 76 we'll reject. And also we have a Mofa Scouting update from the United States of America. Brings back a 68, a 71. This guy was scouting for two months in Ben Torres. We're going to reject him. Uh, 73 we're going to reject. And 83 we'll scout him for a further month. And 78 we'll reject. And a 77. Very disappointing. But we're going to scout, try and scout. No, we're not going to scout him for a further month. So we're going to make a decision on this guy and we're going to reject him. So we have a scout available. Robert van der Laan is a five-star experience, four-star judgment. We're going to send him to his home nation in Holland for six months. Months. Final game of the episode then is FSV Frankfurt against Darmstadt. Your starting 11 is exactly the same as the game we played against 1860 Munich. And yes, Nilsson, after his outstanding performance, does keep his place in the side. Here's a viver. Well done by Colleen back of Lords then. Into Vilshut, plays up to Sonogo. Sonogo sending it on towards Niane. Niane then will play it out wide to Vilshut. Vilshut then inside the area. Vilshut to make the goalkeeper work. And he's going to put it out of the back of the net. He's a goalkeeper. Great goal by Vilshut. Got into a great area. Niane again with another assist. Hit these two players, Vilshut and Niane, are unbelievable. They're going to have a massive future ahead of them. And Vilshut made no mistake in smashing it. Across the goalkeeper, into the back of the net. It's 1-0 to FSV Frankfurt. Back lords. Into Niane. Here is Sekulin though. Great change of pace by him, running at the heart of. Oh, Sekulin. Damn start doing poor here. Sekulin then will cut inside. Sekulin will cross it in towards Sonogo. And there goes the half-time whistle. Ball's played into uh, Jungworth. Jungworth has received the ball back from his teammate. Well done by Bacalords. And here is Sonogo. And we're looking to break. Sonogo. Come on, son. Sonogo in towards Niane. Niane then trying to go around the outside of the defenders. Niane going into the area. Niane and the defenders know they can't touch him. And it's a penalty. And it's going to be a, probably a booking for the Darmstadt player. 
We knew, we said that the players, the defenders knew they couldn't touch him because he's so got good agility going forward. Niane has won us a penalty. He's been fantastic this game. Now take a look at the replay here. And you can see there he does get caught by one of the players. It was weird, but yeah, it's a penalty. We're going to take that. So Niane then is going to step up and take this penalty kick for us. Niani then against the goalkeeper, makes no mistake, the keeper did go the right way, and we double our lead, it's 2-0. Heller then will shoot, and it, oh, Nielsen, mate, what is going on? Why does it do that? They need to change that, that's so annoying, it happens all the time. Nielsen's a quality goalkeeper, and he does something like that. And it's 2-1 and it's going to be squeaky bum time for the remaining of this game. So we've got free kick then. Vaughan's going to take it short to Seculin. Who's going to hit it? And he goes wide. There goes the full-time whistle. It's normal business for Frankfurt. We've picked up three points yet again in the league. Marching on to that automatic promotion spot that we need. It's very tight at the top of the table, which I'll show you guys in just a little while. It's finished FSV Frankfurt 2. Damn start 1. So boys, this episode is coming to an end. As you can see, we sit in fourth place. We've got Nuremberg in third, Werder Bremer in second, and Paderborn, who are pro practically, they are promoted because there's only one game left of the season and we are in a pretty, pretty poor position. We need to make sure we win convincingly. The goal against Darmstadt in the last minute has dropped us down to fourth place because our goal difference would have been 20. It's not now, it's 19. One game left of the season. I'm going to end it here, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been SJ Sports. Please like, sub, comment, and I will see you guys on my next video. And goodbye.